Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to talk about a um, probably a little known option in Windows 8 and pretty much every version of Windows had it. It's called the resource monitor. The resource monitor is a little bit like the task monitor but it goes more into details of uh, basically what your computer is running and how it affects performance in your computer. So you can actually check and see the different processes. If you find your computer slow, for example, you can use the resource monitor to see what is actually running in the background. And uh, what's nice is that you can actually search the web for that process and you'll know if it's a process that you need, if you don't need it, and it's usually well explained. So how do you get to the resource monitor? Um, it's a little complicated sometimes because the resource monitor is not always visible in your search. So if you go into charms bar and you put a resource, I actually don't have the resource monitor, but you'll see uh, view system resource usage in task manager. So what we'll do is we'll go through the task manager to get to the resource monitor. Um, either go in your charms bar or your little search and type task manager or you can go on your desktop app if you want and also click right click the bottom taskbar and click task manager once you're in the task manager click performance and you'll see that at the bottom here of this window you have open resource monitor and that's what we want so you'll click that and you'll have a different window show up with the different um, resource monitoring the disk usage CPU usage uh, network and memory. So what you have here is a nice little app or program that actually checks your computer all the time, gives you information about what's using the most um, of your computer in resource, what's running. So um, it gives you an idea of the CPU usage, for example, of all the the um, little programs and um, you know all the background stuff that's happening in your computer so on the left side first in the overview you will see what's running and um, how much of the CPU is being used in your computer and you can check for what thread is, is using what percentage of your CPU so check that, make sure if you have a sluggish computer, look for a thread or a uh, file maybe that is in this uh, overview. And um, if it you know, hogs more than 20, 30, 40% of your CPU, then it's worth it to actually take note and see, okay, this thing takes 40%, what is it, do I need it? And so what you do is when you're on, for example, a app that you don't know. Let's check here for uh, perfmon.exe an example here. Now it doesn't use a lot of CPU in my case so it's not that big of a problem but if you're wondering what it is what you can do is right click in that line and go search online and there it brings you to Google and tells you okay perfmon.exe Windows process what is it you can click there read more about it read if it is something that you really need and decide afterwards if you want to disable it or not so if you right click you have in process in process tree so if the process has many different processes that goes with it you can uh, of course close all the processes together you can analyze weight chain which means that it's going to actually give you information about uh, all the processes and what actually uh, it does how long it takes to work to load and, and so on and so on so you can use that you can suspend the process and you can resume process now if you suspend the process and you notice that for example your windows machine is not working very well then you can go back and just click resume process so that's one way of actually checking out what the computer is doing, how it's using its resource, and um, gives you an idea of what is working. The second tab, CPU. This one is really, really 
giving you all the information about your CPU and if you have like for example I have here a i5 that has uh, four cores two normal cores plus two virtual cores you have all of that information for the CPU which uh, core is being used and uh, what's the percentage of usage of that core and so on and so on so you can check that at the same time and have an idea how your computer is performing of course you can check memory with the memory it uh, gives you the information of how much memory is being used and how much memory is in standby and how much memory is free so here you have an idea of uh, gives you a, a good look into um, the amount of RAM that you have installed and do you have enough of physical RAM memory so for example here it says that I have got about two gigabytes of memory in use but I still have six gigabytes of memory on that's available that's unused basically so in my case I have enough RAM but if you suspect that your computer is low in RAM then you can check that and if the overall physical memory usage is I would say more than 60 or 70 percent it might be a good idea to upgrade your RAM for example you also have disk which gives you the uh, different processes that are using your hard drive and how much uh, it's writing or reading from the hard drive uh, at any time so of course you can check out what process is using your hard drive the most and see if you can change something in that uh, once again you can right click on any of those processes and go search online and see what it is and finally network is really for your network settings how much is being sent and received through your network and through um, the internet for example if you have multiple computers on a network you'll see all the um, communications on the network and it's divided uh, on network um, local area connections the air, uh, Ethernet port and Wi-Fi so depending on what you're doing you'll see these little spikes show up for example an example I can give you is if I go here and do a speedtest.net you'll notice that while doing this test if I go here it's going to affect the monitor here because it's going to give me information if you look at my Wi-Fi right now you see that it spikes why because I'm using a process that's giving me my upload download speeds on speedtest.net for example so now it's downloading a lot of data so it gives you an idea of how it works because my usage is now being shown and it tells you also in the TCP connections and everything so all that information is there it's available it's just up to you to uh, find uh, what it means and what is useful and what's not in this list of different threads and background processes that are working on your computer you don't have to understand everything but it's nice to actually take a peek um, through this resource monitor and uh, you know see that your computer is actually doing a lot of stuff in the background without your knowledge uh, most of the time so uh, check that out check the different processes if you actually uh, stop a process because the first thing that I would suggest is if you want to stop a process just click suspend process and see what it does and if you're missing out on something then you'll have to restart the process or just reboot the computer and it's going to start over once again so I hope uh, this little tour of the resource monitor helps you find what's running what's uh, maybe hogging your CPU your memory or whatever in your computer check that out it's always interesting to see what's actually running in a Windows machine and if your computer's slow it might actually give you lots of uh, information and indication on what's happening if you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a feature, an app, a uh, process, something in Windows 8 that we haven't talked about yet and you'd like to know more. 
why not subscribe to our channel and ask us also that famous question. So thanks for watching and hope to see you again on the official Windows 8 channel.